Steve here. Well, welcome to another video. I got the sign out, we've got the caravan out, we're out camping, and uh, had a bit of cloudy weather over the weekend. It's been uh, pretty cloudy, but the sun has come out now finally, so I've decided to get all my gear out and charge it all up. The battery's in the cat, well, the battery in the caravan is nearly fully charged. I got uh, 400 watts of solar on the roof of the caravan. I've got 320 watts of solar on the roof of the car. I also carry around this uh, 100 watt panel down here. I've got it running to a battery system around the back there. So what I wanted to talk about was power when camping. It's one of the things that we all use a lot of now. Uh, this place we're at is actually a powered bush caravan park, but we've decided to come to an unpowered section because we like being a little bit off grid when we go camping. Uh, we're pretty self-sufficient. Uh, the new caravan has got 135 uh, amp hours of lithium battery. Now, we mainly only run the lights and everything in the caravan. The fridge, it's got an upright um, Dometic fridge. It's very economical. It chews very little power. I've had this turned on at home uh, with no power going into it for about four days and the battery hasn't even got below 75%. So I'm really confident that we won't use a lot of power in the caravan. Now, I was sent out a battery by a company called Lee Time, which I have um, put in the car. Now you might remember me video I did on that. Uh, just in case you forget, I'll just show you their name, Lee Time again. And uh, my battery in the car is sitting at 92%. Now I have been using the battery out of the car. I've got 200 amp hours of battery with that battery. 135 in the caravan, so 335 amp hours. But I also carry around some power stations. And one of the power stations that I have was sent out to me a, a while ago by a company called All Powers. And here it is here. It's the All Powers RS, I think, uh, 1500. Um, I have a video on this um, power station when I first got it, went through all the specs, everything. We have been testing and using this for a few months now, and it is fantastic. Uh, I'm really impressed by uh, this system. Uh, it's amazing. It's got the uh, dual magnetic um, charging ports for your phones. Now what we actually do with this, I'll put a photo up on the screen. We actually sit it up in the bed between our beds in the caravan up in here. And uh, because we didn't get any USBs or anything um, built into the caravan inside, the only one we've got outside is this uh, one here. I think it's a cigarette lighter plug that we can put USBs in, but we mainly use 240 volt. The van all runs off 12 volts, so that's why I said we don't use a lot of the 12 volt power for anything else in the van except for running lights, fridges and things like that. So how do we charge all our other devices or run other things that are 240? This, this has been amazing. Having the 1500 watt in, um, inverter in it is a game changer. Uh, it just means there's so many appliances you can run. I run my kick-ass uh, hot plate on it. It only needs 600 watts, but I also run my Nespresso coffee machine here, and also my milk frother. Now, just to show you, I've actually got it hooked up to the car at the moment because we were using it all night. It was down to about 72%. So I've got it um, plugged into the solar panels, the 300 watt solar panels on the roof of the car. Now, I did get some 400 watt panels with this uh, when I got it. I've got them at home. I just forgot about them this weekend. I normally carry them around. So what I've done is I've just um, put an Anderson plug on the end of the cord that they sent me and uh, got it plugged into an Anderson connector in the back of the car and I'm using the panels on the roof of the car. It's only putting in 36 watts at the moment because of that dirty big cloud up there. But when it uh, comes back out again, a minute ago there it was putting in 197 watts. So it's saying that it'll only take uh, 0.5 hours to recharge at the moment at 38 watts, 39 watts. But when the sun comes back out, that'll change 
and it'll go back up again. But we sit this at the end of the bed, like I said, um, and when we're in there at night, we sit our phones up on top. It charges them up when we're asleep. And then if we want to plug other things in, we've actually been using our electric blankets. Uh, I've got a video coming out on that where I actually do show the all powers uh, running a 12 volt electric blanket off it. It is fantastic for running a 12 volt electric blanket. Just plug it into the cigarette lighter plug there and uh, you can stay nice and warm and toasty overnight. You can see the sun come out a bit, it went up to 48 watts. But it's got USB-C's, uh, you've got USB-A's, um, but you've got your 240 here. I'll just turn it on. Now, I can uh, turn my little milk frother here on. When I get the right one, there we go. Get the right button, it's over here, Steve. So the little red lights come on and the uh, little milk frother is spinning away in there. And he cooked up some scones earlier in the oven. So we're going to be uh, having those. But I've also got my coffee machine here. Now you can see solar there just went over 100. The sun's come back out, 111. We are taking out 377 watts at the moment. I could possibly turn on my coffee machine right now um, and see whether it, bugger it, we will. We'll turn on the coffee machine and you'll watch this jump up, 1500 watts. It may shut down, I don't know. It has got a 1500 watt inverter in it, but uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see whether we overcharge this. So we're actually taking out 1537 watts. We're putting 144 watts back in again. You'll probably see the percentage drop down, but isn't this a great test? So the coffee machine will the milk frother will switch off in a minute, the voltage will drop down. This draws about 1200 watts, I've noticed, about 1232 watts. Um, it's just switched off until I press the button, it won't come back on again. But I'll press the button and uh, you'll see the coffee come out of there now. This is going back up to 1594, nearly 1600 watts. Remember, this is a 1500 watt inverter but it is heated up really quick and uh, I'm getting a cup of coffee and a nice frothed up milk there. So 425 watts coming out. All it's doing is heating the water up now and I've got 97 watts coming in. So the All Powers 1500 is a fantastic machine. You can put up to, I think, um, 600 watts of um, solar into it. Uh, you can put extra batteries on it if you want to, if you want to go that way. You can charge it through your car, you can charge it through solar, you can put it into 240, 240 volt charging. Like if you were off grid for a while, then you could um, put it into 240, you could charge it up that way. I just thought I'd do a follow up video and tell you all about it, but it is absolutely fantastic. I'm really impressed with it. My coffee there is just about full. I'm just going to put a extra shot in. So I'll just press that again. She'll go up to 11, 1200 watts again and uh, just put that extra shot in. But uh, my milk should be all frothed up there. Look at that. How good is it being able to make coffee like this when you're on the road in the back of the car? So I just thought I would tell you how we're managing our power when caravanning um, if you haven't got a big battery system in your caravan. Now the reason I haven't changed it just yet, uh, one cost, I was going to put the uh, lead time battery in the caravan but when I got the caravan the laws have changed and I'm trying to show you the battery box down there, that's the battery box they gave me, it's not big enough. I'm going to have to change that battery box to fit that 200 amp hour battery in there. So it's going to have to wait a little while. I'm going to continue to run it in the car because it's going in there fantastically. But uh, when I do, in the caravan, I've just got to get, we've got a trip coming up in a couple of weeks. When we get back, uh, then I'll worry about changing all that over. But for the moment, quite happy with how everything is running. Uh, with this, I think I've got about 
60 amp hours in here, 200 amp hours in there, 135 amp hours there. I've got another 50 amp hours in another battery box I've got. So thank you very much. If you've got any questions, queries or comments, leave them down below. If you want to know more about my power system, about the all powers um, or about anything else I've got, just let me know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Look after each other and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, everyone. Bye. I'm going to enjoy this coffee and scones. I've got some cream inside too, so I'll put a photo up on the screen and show you. Cheers, everyone. Bye. One other thing I forgot to mention, guys. I will leave a link in the description and also a discount code so you can save a bit of money off this if you get on their website. Cheers, everyone. Bye. Stop recording. Stop recording.